Hello all you beautiful people. I am really, really excited today because today starts something interesting for moi, for moi, for moi, for moi. I've lived in Orlando for about six years. That's six years in Orlando. I've seen a lot of the sights, but there's some things I haven't seen. And I want to go on an adventure. I really want to try something different. I want to try something new. I want to explore Orlando. And I want you to come with me. That's why I have this giant map here. This map is huge. I'm really excited about this. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hey, Mike. You want to go on an adventure? What kind of adventure? I'm going to shoot a dart into... With, with this gun here. Right into the, uh, the map there. And wherever it lands, that's where I'm going to go. You know? Mm, nah, it's okay. I'm calling it Further Adventures in Orlando, Florida. It's a whole experience of randomness. Why wouldn't you want to go? It's a big map. It's a big map. There's a lot of places to see and a lot of places to go. What happens if you, like, get a toll booth or something? Well, just go check it out. It's it. This is part of the randomness. We're going to see parts of Orlando, Florida. If there's something there, it's awesome. If not, hey, it was an experience. Okay. Well then, are you gonna come? No. All right. Now the rules of further adventures in Orlando, Florida are really simple. This is a map of Orlando, Orange and Seminole County. I cock the gun, I shoot it, it sticks up like that, that's where I go. I'm gonna close my eyes, shoot randomly on this map. It has to land like that. Now if it lands like that, it doesn't go anywhere, I'm not going there because it doesn't, it's not sticking straight up. Let's do this. Let's go have some fun. Mike, would you mind shooting me for me? Sure. You wouldn't mind, right? Well, uh, here goes nothing. Uh, any, meeny, money, mo, I wonder where my dart will go. Hello? Let's see what we got here. That's sticking straight up there. Right here in Winter Park. We're on Clarendon Avenue. Let's see what's over there. Let's go find out. Hey, look, Rollins College. Hey, I'm going to college. It's like Harvey Dangerfield. I'm going back to school. Oh, my God, I didn't hit a tow road. You want to come out with me? I know I said I'm going to a road, but I'm going to go out to where Rollins College is. I'm going to start at the road, then go to Rollins College. You want to come out and maybe no. have lunch with me? You know, see no. see the sights? It's a lot of fun. You might no. have a great time. No. You sure? Okay, whatever. Well, I guess I'm going. See you later, sir. <laughs> Further adventures in Orlando, Florida. Who I am definitely in Winter Park. This is the rich section of Orlando. They've got all their nice, uh, nice streets and what a nice clock there. Thank you, Winter Park. So I made it out here to Clareton and uh, and Lakeview out on in Winter Park. This is absolutely beautiful area all the houses here are completely amazing these places look like suburbia in the 80s and the 90s this is where um, MGM uh, Disney's MGM Studios used for a lot of backgrounds for suburbia like Problem Child 2 and uh, uh, Par Par Parenthood, I believe, with Steve Martin. And then there you got Lake Virginia right over there. And then just right past Lake Virginia, you got Rollins College. So let's go check that out. What does the fox say? I don't know because it's Fox Day here at Rollins College. I came here at a, I guess, a good day because maybe we'll be able to find out what the fox say. Hey, is that still relevant? It's, it's, it's 2015. Now I gotta take off my glasses for this because it's very serious. Now I know voting's coming up for some people, but I've already made my decision. I'm going for Adriana and Caleb. Caleb, Caleb, they're the first people I saw and I'm voting for them. You got my vote. I don't go here, but you got my vote. You got my word of support because of the first thing I saw. And that's how I make all my decisions. I look at something and I say, that's who I'm voting for. If you know anybody named Rose, you could take him here and then you give him a rose and that would be so appropriate. It's like, it's made for you. Hmm. Whoa. That's a really dark service. You are mine now. You belong to me. Ah, ah, ah. 
this specific hallway right here is actually important to me because it's a shooting location for one of my previous videos that I made with my good friend Destin Dern and Jeremy DeMoss. It's, uh, well, I'll link it in the bottom and maybe I'll just show you a little clip of a phantom running down this hallway. It's the Phantom of the Auditorium. He's going to sing a song for you. Oh, let's go see a play. Oh, ooh, this show's got my thing. Uh, uh, never mind. But I actually got help. Follow me, follow me, come with me. There's, there's a person that is helping me with the camera explain everything about this, apparently, the Fox Day is a day where they put out a fox. This president part of the school, excuse me, president of the school puts out a fox. And and that means that school's canceled. And people wait day to day and day. And I came out here on a day that I don't have school because I don't have school anymore because I graduated. But yeah, you know, that's that's like look, look at this. This guy over here, he is he is he looks a little grumpy. Probably because education isn't happening right now. But I'm sure everyone else is extremely happy because they got games and stuff on here. But I have one question. What do you say? We'll never know! We'll never, ever know! Happy Fox Day, everyone! Imagine, it's all here. I don't even know what this is. Maybe that's why they call it art. Hmm. He doesn't really know any tricks. Hello oh, there, everybody. You know what they say, if you catch the wave, you're gonna get a little wet. Beautiful Lake Virginia here with their pristine ramp for your jet skiers going by, go through to the air. Little birdie birds birding around, birding. If you ever find yourself in Orlando, Florida, please, I, I encourage you to listen to WPRK on 91.5. They play new songs, they play interesting things. There's always a DJ switching out about every two to three hours. So it's always different. They have their own radio shows, their own personalities. Like they play video game music at, at certain times of the day. They play a rock, a rock hip hop, uh, they do stories. It's a cool place and it depends on the DJ that's playing it that does the music. So I give it up to WPRK for actually having a unique and indie sound. So thank you for that and thank you for making Orlando cool. It's weird to see something so underground, but maybe that's why they're of the underground radio station of Orlando. It truly is a wonderful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Fun thing about Rollins is uh, Mr. Rogers actually went to school here back in the 60s. He's a prominent character in the uh, in the Central Florida area, and it's it's very strange. His birthday was just about two weeks ago, and if you ever want to look up something very interesting, check out his speech on defending public uh, public uh, free educational uh, TV for the support of PBS is pre uh, pre uh, PBS being a, a station. It's really cool because he shows off that in like a minute he breaks down the Senate because they were trying to go against it and say why why should we have public a public channel where everyone can talk about education I don't think that would be a good thing and he sold it that the children of America will be able to learn and be a good building block into education which would live into the future and folks I think because of mr. Rogers you all know Sesame Street you know mr. Rogers neighborhood because welcome to the neighbor and folks always be nice to your other neighbors so won't you be my neighbor and subscribe. <laughs> Looks like the mine of Moria there. You shall not pass. Mr. Hamilton Hope put this rock here and said, this is a road. You can go left or you can go right. Make your decisions, but you can't go straight or backwards. Even the choppers out here are so excited for Fox Day at Rollins College. Look at him. He's like, oh, this is News 12 on the scene at, at uh, Fox Day. We are so excited for it. All the students are having so much fun here at Fox Day. We got to bring out the news because the news is really important. And Fox is really important too. We got to know what they say. While at Rollins College, you can roll on down to the Walk of Fame. You just push it over. This is where good ideas come from. This is the original wheel. You just push it. Do you guys see this? I think this piece of art's flicking me off. 
Yo, bro, you don't know me. You don't know me. Oh, blech. Festival. You should really come and see it if you're ever in uh, Central Florida in Winter Park. You can see the Bach Festival. You know, when they wrote the song Lean On Me, I don't think this was the intended purpose, but you know, the tree still looks pretty cool with the stanchions in there. This guy here is a good motto. It says, I don't know how long I have to stand here, but I am already tired. Boy, I'm tired too. Tired of standing around and being a red-shaped man. So that's where they get all the people for the Genius Bar at Apple. Man, they come from Rollins, but they have to keep them locked in right there because they'll try to escape too early. Yep, it's official. I found where the party's at on the old fox hole on fox day. And his brother, we call, is just not worth talking about. There was a weird point in his life when Gomez Adams had to name everything after his son, Pugsley. You know, if I asked you what color a blue house was, you'd probably say, yeah, it's blue. If I asked you what color a red house is, you'd probably say red. But if I asked you what color a greenhouse is, you'd probably say clear, like the greenhouse right behind me. We call this area the land of awe because you stand by this fan and go, ah. Hmm, we got this rock here on this bench which is a part of a stone from a schoolhouse. But you know what else is pretty hard? The, uh, the, the motto in Latin, it's Fiat Lux. And if you get that F mixed up with the L, man, you're in another world of trouble. So folks, I have to say, this is pretty cool for a first time out there going and just shooting a map and doing the further adventures of the land of Florida. I got to see the beautiful Rollins College with their football stadium right behind me. I found this missing fox that was leaning on the thing. Look, don't give up on me. It says right here, don't, please don't give up on me. Don't give up on the fox either. Now folks, you can do it, I can do it. We can all do it. You will have a great day and stay groovy. And remember, subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this. So so folks, always have a great day and most of all, stay groovy. Fiat Lux to you all. You all Fiat Lux all day.